Hey guys, I'm Liza with Lopez, registered holistic nutritionist and master trainer, and I'm here to show you, dun dun dun, a new toy that I just got. I did a little little shopping spree at Best Buy, and this is one of the things that I got. Um, it is called a Power Wheel, and I love it because it's bigger and it's got foot straps. Ho, 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 how do you use it? So I'm gonna walk you through a bunch of exercises that you can do, so just in case you see it and you're like, I think I can only do the ab roller. No, no, there's more. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna put it on first because just putting it on, you wanna make sure that you get your whole foot in there, not just your toes. And there is Velcro here so I can adjust. I've already made it perfect for my foot so I'm just gonna slide myself in. Sorry if this is an awkward angle. <laughs> awkward angle, maybe. <laughs> I think I'm in. Okay, so I'm gonna flip myself over. And the first exercise that I'm gonna show you it's called a seal walk, and you'll see why. It's gonna look a little bit like a seal as I walk along, and my goal is to not have my toes touch the ground, and you can go backwards too. Backwards is harder than forward, but all is possible. And this hits the core, very easy, you wouldn't think to do this, but it's a fun thing to do. You know what some of my clients do sometimes? Because it made me laugh, so I had them do this, and a couple of them, the first time they do it, they'll start to walk backwards and they'll just do this. And it's very funny. Anyways, I find it very comical. Anyways, so if that happens to you, don't feel bad. <laughs> it does happen, because you're not ready. But you will be ready now that you start. Next exercise is called a spider crawl. So a spider crawl is something you'd usually do in a push-up and you do your hands and legs, but instead, you're gonna be attached to this wheel. So we're doing push-up, push-up, push-up. And we keep going. <laughs> Push up. <laughs> and try. And you can see the instability of my toes doing this is making my abs work. So now I'm working my arms, working my abs, everything's working together. Actually, I just thought off the top of my head of one more, but I need some weights. <laughs> but I need some weights. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> just what I needed. So I'm gonna show you how to make this just a little bit tougher. So same thing, we're gonna do that seal walk, but instead of doing a regular seal walk, now we're adding some weights. And now my core is very excited. It is firing. My arms are firing. And I almost did the roll backwards that I just showed you, so. There's that, <laughs> okay, so that's something else you can do. And we've also got plank, which is pretty basic, but it's now harder because there's that instability where I wanna try to not roll back and forth, plus my feet will roll backwards if I don't keep my core tight. Dun, dun, dun. We're gonna show the knee tuck. So this will look more like things you've probably seen before. Now notice when I do this that I'm doing a shh, and I'm tucking. So I'm not staying completely neutral spine, which would be right here. Just a slight tuck and a flex of that core. I like to do that little tummy punch, shh, and I do the exhale, shh, as I come in. Now I can make this a little bit tougher, and now I can go into a V up, or jackknife, people call it different things, and it's here. So that is the jackknife for the V-up, but guess what? We can still make it tougher. We can turn it into an atomic push-up. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm ready, okay. So we're gonna go V-up and push-up. And V-up, and I can make it easier also, and push-up, right? So there's ways that we can play with that move. And there's one more exercise still that I'm gonna show you. Now this was the one that you would, sorry, I'm stuck. Okay, this, <laughs> this, is, this is the one that you would generally see this and think, oh, ab rollers. Now this one, because it's bigger than your typical kind of small ab roller that we're used to using, it's wider, the levers are longer, which means it's less stable, it's harder, okay? So the wider my hands are, the more difficult that it will be. And the closer my hands are together, the easier that it will be. And notice when you do it, you can go chest to floor if you want, you can do it from your toes if you want to, but as long as you're doing it with that good form where you're here and you have that slight crunch, that's what we're looking for. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. That was some fun things that you can do with your power wheel. 
you're looking for one, I'll put the details where I got mine in the description box below. Um, if you enjoyed that video, please subscribe. We put out videos every single week on nutrition, fitness, health, all kinds of this kind of stuff. Um, and like and comment so I can interact with you. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week. Peace out, bye.